The Patriot is a car-based SUV, but it stood out thanks to its truck-like shape and distinctive Jeep appearance. Additionally, it's one of the most inexpensive compact SUVs. With two different four-cylinder engines, the Patriot is available as an all-wheel drive or front-wheel drive vehicle. Options for transmission include a CVT or five-speed manual. 2014 saw the addition of a traditional six-speed automatic transmission. For the class, the fuel economy is average. The interior is tastefully decorated and useful. The Patriot has a tight turning circle and car-like handling. In this short video, we will talk about Jeep Patriot reliability, common problems, pros and cons. And before we start, please make sure you've subscribed to the channel. Problems An issue with one of the valves inside the tank may make it difficult to fill. It may be necessary to replace the fuel tank to fix the issue. There is a warranty extension for front and rear crossmember corrosion, also known as subframe corrosion, in Canada and the Salt Belt states. The service bulletin states that the warranty has been increased to 10 years for crossmember perforation. The engine may not start due to corrosion at the relay box, which is situated in the front wheel well in front of the left front tire. One of the frequent causes of the code P456 is a bad gas cap. The failure of the EVAP leak detection unit is also mentioned as a potential reason for the same error code. Another problem mentioned by many owners is stalling in early models, specifically from 2007 to 2012. According to some owners, it occurs following a gas fill-up. The NHTSA website also features a number of complaints. Some owners have suggested that a possible fix is to replace the fuel tank. The throttle control warning light turning on, a lack of power, and various other drivability issues can all be signs of a failing throttle body. The throttle body can be replaced with relative ease, but an OEM throttle body is quite expensive. Although an aftermarket part is less expensive, its quality may not always meet standards. A damaged alternator decoupler pulley can lead to charging system issues as well as whining, buzzing, or rattling noises coming from the alternator area. To fix the issue, it might be necessary to replace the alternator or the pulley. You can buy the pulley and the replacement tool online. Although it's not very expensive, replacing it without specialized tools is difficult. A faulty bearing inside the alternator can also result in the generator making an excessive amount of noise. It might be necessary to replace the alternator. Numerous Patriot owners reported interior water damage from the sunroof and other sources. Electrical and lighting problems as well as check engine lights are fairly common. The PCM may need to be reprogrammed in order to fix the check engine light problem with codes P139 or P2270. Additionally, a number of electrical issues have been reported. Round wire connections must be checked for corrosion and looseness with any strange electrical issues. On the frame, close to the alternator, is the one that frequently corrodes. The abs light can be brought on by corroded wiring under the driver's footrest, a bad wheel speed sensor, or a bad or rusted wheel bearing. The abs needs to be code scanned as a first step. Loss of acceleration may be brought on by the CVT transmission becoming too hot. When driving, a failing CVT transmission can make a whining or humming noise, jerk, and lose power. The CVT transmission has the drawback of being very expensive to replace, even with a used one. Overall, it's not a car you want to spend a fortune on, but if it's in good mechanical condition, it might serve as a cheap and practical commuter. Of course, you are aware that it will occasionally require repairs. It is worthwhile to take into account an extended powertrain warranty that will cover potential transmission failure. Engine The Patriot is powered by either a 2.0 liters world gas engine with 158 horsepower or a 2.4 liters world gas engine with 172 horsepower. Only models with front-wheel drive can have the 2.0 liters. While not particularly quiet, both engines are generally trouble-free. The 2.4 liters is a better option in our opinion. The timing chain is present in both engines. No timing belt is present. How capable is the Jeep Patriot four-wheel drive system? The Patriot has a front-biased four-wheel drive system, similar to the majority of small SUVs and crossovers. This means that the front wheels are always powered and the rear wheels are only engaged when necessary. The Patriot 4WD system does, however, have the lock mode, unlike the majority of its rivals. More torque is sent to the rear wheels when the 4WD lock is engaged. At low speeds, this can be helpful in sand or snow that is loose. Skid plates, a heavy-duty alternator, and other upgrades are included in the optional Freedom Drive 2 off-road group package, along with off-road four-wheel drive lock mode, hill descent control, and other features. The CVT transmission engages its internal low-range mode when in off-road mode. This won't transform the Patriot into a Wrangler, but it can be useful when negotiating treacherous terrain like a steep hill or deep snow. Summary. 
There is a reason why the Patriot is among the least expensive compact SUVs available on the used car market. The overall level of reliability is below average. Less issues with the 2013 Plus Patriot have been reported. The 2.4-liters engine paired with a 6-speed automatic transmission would have to be the best Patriot engine and transmission pairing if we had to choose just one.